Hello everyone. My name is Mayuresh Zoshi from office365notes.com. In previous video, we have seen how we can call a Power Automate from Power Apps. In today's video, we will see how we can pass parameters from Power Apps to Power Automate when we call a flow. So let me add one button over here. Also, let me add one uh, text box. So, our objective is to call a power automate on click of this button and we will pass the values from this text box uh, to the power automate. And that power automate will send an email to whatever email address we provide here. So, to do that, let's click on the button. Click on Action, Power Automate, Create a New Flow, choose as Power Apps button, this was the trigger point, add a new step, let's initialize one variable, we'll rename this as email1 and variable name will be var email1 okay it will be a string variable and value so here we will ask in power apps so this will create one a dynamic parameter which we will need to pass from power apps so for now just click on ask in power apps then add a step to send an email So we will use this value from the dynamic content which will be var email1. So this was our variable which we initialized here. And we will give some name as email from power apps with parameters. I will use the same in the body. And let's save this flow. I will give the name as flow name as to send email with parameters. Let's save this flow. So once you save this flow, you will be able to see it in your here so just click on that flow it will take few seconds to get added okay now you can see that it is asking you to pass the parameter if i just close this bracket it will throw me an error saying that one argument was required uh, expected so what is the argument name it is email one underscore value why this parameter so it was this parameter email1 and it created this email1 underscore value so this was that parameter name so the parameter name i need to pass is this one so let me take the id of this field dot text now i will give uh, my id let me check if I can copy it from here. Okay. Now I will click on button and it should send me an email. You can see that the email got triggered. Email from Power Apps with parameters. Also, you can see the email history. So, in this way, we have called. Now, let's say we want to pass two parameters. So let me add one more parameter over here. Initialize variable. Rename the action as email2. Variable name will be var email2. This will be the string variable. And again, click on ask in Power Apps. This will create one more parameter. 
you can see it here okay now we will send an email to this user also and i will click on save so once you save this flow you need to delete this button once because i have faced this issue a lot of time when you use the existing flow and you edit that flow and try to attach it it basically does not triggers so let me delete this button and add it again i will add one more text box and on this button click i will attach that flow So now you can see that it is asking us two parameters separated by comma. So let me add the first parameter which will be this one. And let me add the second parameter as this one. Now let's call this flow. I will pass some other value as this is my another email address from this tenant i will click on button and you can see that i got the email keeping two users in the email so in this way uh, we can easily call a power automate from power apps by passing the parameters as well i hope you have liked this video i have also written an article on the same i will share this link in the video description if you have liked this video please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comment sections finally thanks for watching and have a nice day